hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i'll be walking you through how i braid this hair not less braids using this three-tone ombre hair using this hair can be very difficult because it is not like canicolon like the expression hair it is more of rubber like synthetic rubber like 100 percent rubber so if you don't take time uh, working with it gent gentle if you are not being gentle with this air you probably will not get the kind of results that was showing at the beginning of this video so let's get into it the beginning of my braids i'm going to use three different sizes as you can see the first one is very small the second one is a little bit and then the third one like three different sizes and even if it is not about this kind of uh, hair this is how i usually start my braids plus also i am my client's hair is uh fine as you can tell so this method works very well plus this hair as well is uh very thick uh if you use just very tiny bits goes a long way you don't want your hair to be too bulky because it's going to be heavy even if you're doing not less braids the hair itself is very heavy so every i have every reason to use this <laughs> this uh techniques by using a very tiny hair in the beginning the second piece is going to be a little bit bigger than the first one and the third one is going to be a little bit bigger than the second one that way it kind of like gets bigger as the braid goes down as i braid down you can see the thickness but i don't achieve the thickness from the roots because my client's hair will not even take that because her hair is fine i have to put that in consideration also this hair braiding hair is very thick so i have to put that into consideration as well and so another thing that i do in this video is after adding the three piece hair from the beginning i only added two more piece till i braid all the way down why because i want to keep the ombre in place i don't want to be adding hair every every time here and there it's going to mess up with the color right so after adding the three piece you can see the first one the second one the third one the other one i'm going to be adding is going to be to extend the length to match with the first line of the braids the the base at the bottom i will add two more okay so let's work with this see i first add the small piece i had the second piece which is a little bigger than the first one I had the third piece which is a little tiny bigger than the second one that way the root of my client's hair is secure it is not too heavy for our natural hair to undo and after that I had the very tiny piece and I make sure it is on that that way it can stay close I also had another one and that way I braid all the way down that is all that I need this braid doesn't have to be very thick and in this um this braid is considered medium medium size knotless braids um when working with a client that have a fine air you want to be careful about the amount of air that you use that is one and also like i said the hair i am using can be very heavy and the thickness if you use just tiny one it's enough you don't have to use um a lot of hair to achieve a very full hair you can see the thickness now you can see and i added the hair only five times i used three piece in the beginning i added two tiny more to have the same length with the other braids and also to give it fullness kind of over here i'm trying to part my hair and what i would do here is ensure that i have a clean part even from from the very beginning that way by the time i apply my shine and jam it will only be to just clean up the part i'm not parting and parting because i know some people will say they have ocd when they are parting the hair they have to part and part do you see how i part right here how I, I make sure my part is getting cleaner as i go 
I don't just part anyhow and then put the jam and still go over it. See, I make sure my part is clean at the first time and then I'll be using shine and jam, the yellow can. What I like about this shine and jam is it doesn't make the root white. It doesn't turn white on your hair. If for anything, it's adapted into client's hair like you are applying cream. If it is looking like white hair, probably my client has a tiny bit of cream or oil in her hair. But trust me, this is like a cream. It doesn't make nobody's hair white, as you can see here. And so by the time I'm braiding hair, it's reduced the amount I'm going to use it, you know. So after applying that, I won't. I will just go over it and just clean up my part, not necessarily parting over and all over and over again. That way you can save time. You don't want to spend all the time parting. And what I'm basically doing here is parting the hair. To achieve a full braid, especially that my client's hair is fine, which is there's nothing wrong with having a fine hair. I will make sure that the braid is like a brick layer. And sometimes I don't follow the bricks based on the kind of hair that my clients have. If I have to forfeit the bricks in order to have full braids or in order to protect my client's hair, I don't mind. But basically, that is the purpose. That is what I intend to do to make sure that the parts looks like bricks on top of each other in order to close the gaps in between the braids. So I'm going to walk you over again how I added the hair. And also, this hair can tangle easily. If you don't, if you're not gentle with this, is my regular speed. I did not slow down and I did not um, increase it. This is how I braid right here. And using this air, you, are, you want to be gentle because if the air gets tangled, there's no point. You have to cut it. This air is not easily to detangle. It will get tangled and it will just get lumpy together. You will not be able to use it. You have to cut it and take the braids down and then start all over again. So this way, when you are braiding now, you want to make sure you are, your hand is going all the way down and untangling the, the braids at the end. That way, you stay, um, you, 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 you walk with the hair without getting tangled. That is what I'm trying to say. You see, when I braid, my hand goes all the way down to untangle it. I didn't just braid and leave it like that. If you do that with the expression hair, it will be fine. Trust me. But with this hair, if you do like that, you are going to just waste your hair. You want to be gentle with using this hair. Also, you want to make sure you are using your hand to untangle it as you are braiding, as you are using it to braid because it tangled up easily. And you want to add your hair at the right time that you are adding with every other hair in order to maintain the three tone settings that the braids are that the colored hair has excuse me and you see i'm adding the hair and i'm putting it under the the braids that i already have that way it can stay um, undetected and it can look all flawless all the way basically that's what i'm doing and i'm going to let you watch and see how I finish the rest of the braids because I basically just do the same thing. You can see the roots of this braid, how it looks very clean and flat. And that is it. If you use too much of hair from the root, towards the way you brace to the hand you will not achieve this kind of flat root you see the tiny tiny hair that i'm adding 
that's why i said this air you don't have to have you don't have to have so much air because the tiny one you are adding is going to go a long way also you want to uh, be conscious of when you are adding the bread to it in order to have the same length and in, all, in order also to retain the the color of the hair you know it's very different tone the black the 30 and 27 if not you are not going to achieve this color see i try to braid the way all the way down in order to now add the color in order to add the hair that way then i will now start braiding the hair down as i was braiding i was adding chan and jam to my hair in order to be able to braid down easily and this kind of hair while you are braiding like this if you get tangled together leave the whole braid go and untie it or use scissors to open it if not it is going to be very difficult it will you should get so tangled like you can lose the whole bag of hair because they just get tangled together and this i'm braiding the hair down pretty much and i think that's what i want to show you i hope you learn a thing or two this is all I have to show in this video and I hope next time you're trying to use this color you are able to achieve the result that looks like this. Also, you want to braid all the way down and twist the little that you have below um, at the end. You twist the end of your braid that way it stays together and sealed because if not, this air has a tendency to unravel. If you braid all the way down and then you twist the tiny hair that remains that makes it close all the way and you know your braid is not done until you clean up your hair and over here I'm just trying to clean up the braids and this hair one thing that I love about this hair is you don't have to clean so much it's only towards the hand that you clean and boom that's it and over here i'm just dipping the hair and i use or uh, mousse the green pack the green can kind of mm. yeah and that's all i do <laughs> i hope you learned the pin or two i hope the process is easy for you if you have any question please leave it in the comments uh, box for me i will reply all your question if there's anything that's not clear leave it in the comment and i will be happy i will be happy to reply you did you see that i was able to retain the color while i'm not messing up the color and all the lengths are the same and the braid itself is so neat it's so beautiful my client love it so much mm, i hope you enjoyed this braid you enjoyed this video and um yeah if you have any question like i said please drop it in the comment section below and also i'm going to see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment what you think in the comment section below i am going to see you in my next video thank you so much till then please take good care of yourself